Steve North, the general manager of UK TV. We have Michael Venom Page, uh, Willie Hutchinson, Richard Schaefer, I'm Andy Shepherd. We have the haymaker himself, David Hay, Joe Joyce, Case Astak, uh, Ishmael Salas, and we have Stephen Malt, for, uh, who is the brand director from Betfair UK and Ireland. So, in January this year, we announced a partnership between the founder of Haymaker Boxing World, <coughs> former heavyweight and cruiserweight champion of the world, David Hay, and the CEO of Ringstar Sports, Richard Schaefer, to form a brand new boxing promotion, Haymaker Ringstar. Today, we are very pleased to announce some of the fruits of that partnership, and that comes in the form of a milestone TV deal with the most watched non-public service broadcaster in the UK. That's Dave at UK TV. The three-year deal will see five fights broadcast per year and marks an important move for Dave to continue its sports offerings amongst its other wide range of programmes. Dave first entered the sporting arena in January 2016 with David's comeback fight. The show broke network records, peaking at over 3 million viewers. We're in a golden age of British boxing, and this exclusive deal looks to help satisfy Britain's appetite for exciting, free to view boxing on a regular basis. The upcoming fights will showcase Haymaker Ringstar's latest signings that include these gentlemen up here today. So, let's introduce you to them. First up, we have Mr. Joe Joyce. He's the most decorated male <coughs> amateur boxer in history. He's a European and Commonwealth champion and brought home a controversial silver medal from the Rio Olympics. Many thought that silver should have been a gold. He's been compared to the likes of Anthony Joshua, Indeed, he's been the lead training partner for his for a number of years. And, in AJ's <coughs> own words, he's given him some very competitive rounds of sparring. Joe will be getting to work quickly. At the age of 31, he'll have a sharp trajectory to world titles. Now, Joe, you've been working out at the, uh, the Haymaker Gym for a while now. What's it like to be part of the Haymaker Ringstar stable? Well, it's like a family. Um, you know, I'm fitting in very well, you know, enjoying uh, my surroundings. It's a great gym and you know, to be surrounded by uh, great great people is uh, you know it's an honour to be around such uh, you know great promoters with uh, you know David Hay here and uh, Richard Schaefer you know you, you can the you know amount of stuff they've done I mean uh, David Hay you know in two weight, weight classes he's you know been in the business over 12 years and Richard Schaefer, I mean, you know, like, you know, created and run Golden Boy, so, you know, the credentials are there, so, um, I'm, just, I'm just excited, I just want to get back in the ring, I'm, you know, raring to go, I'm, you know, I'm fit, I'm ready, and uh, I, I just want to put on some good shows in the future. I'm looking forward to seeing those shows, thank you, Joe. Um, next up, we have Willie Hutchinson. He is Scotland's most decorated amateur in history and a current world champion. He's also a seven-time Scottish champion, four-time British champion, and a former European champion. It's very easy to forget that this guy is just 18 years old. Unsurprisingly, he's tipped to be a very big name in boxing, and we'll be able to follow his journey on day. Um, Willie, you're training under Ishmael Salas. Uh, you started working with him this week. How's it gone? Uh, it's went very good, yeah. Um, he's a fantastic coach. I mean, unbelievable. I've done a 40 minute training session with him the other day. He showed me more than 40 minutes than what I've done in, in months, year, like the past year. Uh, fantastic coach. Um, and it just says that he's trained 19 world champions, so he's, on, he's very, very good. And there's a good group of lads as well, and we're all training together. So, yes. It's going good, yeah. Very good. Plenty more to come, sure. Um, next up, we have Kez Astak. Astak has a rich amateur pedigree, having captured Commonwealth, Commonwealth Games silver, two silver medals at the European Championships and the European Games bronze. As a key member of Team GB for seven <coughs> years, he's regularly been touted as the successor to Amir Khan's crown. Lee's born Kez has a widespread and loyal fan base across the UK, who I'm sure would be very pleased by today's announcement. Um, now, Kez, you're coming off a rich 
amateur career. How excited are you to be turning pro under the Haymaker Ringstar banner? I'm very excited. I can't wait to get show my role now. It's been a long time coming. I've not boxed for 11 months now with Isabel Salas here, the best coach in the world for me, with David A, with all the experience he's got in the boxing world, and Richard Schaefer, the most experienced uh, promoter for me around the world. I don't think I can go wrong. It's all, all systems go. I can't wait to move up, move up, up the levels of the uh, pro ranks and get to the more titles. Next up, we have a man who, who might be a new face to the boxing world, but he's certainly a familiar face <coughs> for fans of combat sport. And that is MVP Michael Venom Page. He's a 10-time world kickboxing champion and one of the UK's most exciting MMA fighters currently working with the Bellator promotion. He's undefeated in his 12 professional fights at two weight classes and he was winner of last year's MMA KO of the Year. He's an exciting and charismatic fighter who will be, no doubt, looking to put on a show for the viewers. We believe he has the talent to continue his crossover in combat sports, from kickboxing to MMA and now to boxing, and believe he has the ability to capture world titles inside the boxing. Now, Michael, um, I'm sure I need to ask you a question. You're a man of many words. I'll just hand the floor to you. <laughs> I just took a wrong turn in. <laughs> and ended up on stage in boxing and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to run with it. I'm just going to do what I normally do, put on a show. The one and only MVP is just kick down the door for boxing. That's the last time you're going to see me kicking this, don't worry. <laughs> Can't wait to put hands on people. And that's what I'm going to do, I do the best. And I put on a show, do it with style. The one and only MVP is here. He's arrived. He's <laughs> 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 um, Now, Ishmael Salas, you are... Your new face for Haymaker Ring Star set up. You are the head boxing coach at the Haymaker Gym. Um, you want to just tell us a little bit about yourself and what you make of this young group of talent? Yeah, good morning to everyone. Uh, at first, I'd like to say thank you to the Haymaker for bringing me over this, uh, I call it like a dream team. We got all, all the best uh, guys around. We got uh, uh, David Hay as himself. Uh, He's a great fighter. Uh, I think uh, in the near future we can can be back in the top as he is. Uh, also, we have uh, Richard Schaefer. Richard Schaefer is is well, well known. Is to me is uh, one of the best boxing promoter all time. This guy who got many champions. He's, he's very experienced. So for me, it's an honor. Plus, uh, we have right now the best young fighter in UK. We have uh, Joe Joyce, we have uh, Willie, and we have Carson, plus uh, David Hay himself. So to me, it's a great challenge. And I like to take it. And I like to be part and honored to be part of the uh, Haymaker. Thank you, Ishmael. Um, now, Dave, this is, this is a pretty stellar lineup you've assembled. A uh, few words for you. Yeah, I've um, welcome everybody. Being a boxing promoter um, is, is something I've done from the very start. I remember 15 years ago when I turned professional, um, I, I remember feeling like these guys are feeling out of back. These guys are more nervous about this press conference than they are going to be walking to the ring for their first fight. <coughs> because they're not used to this kind of environment. I remember being exactly where they were, and it was actually quite sweet backstage watching them, they were sort of fidgeting and all bit. They're nervous about what they're gonna say. It's just, it, but I've been there, I know what it's like. And uh, time's gone real fast, 15 years later, here I am. And, uh, and, I, and I believe I'm, I'm gonna give these guys the opportunities um, that I've been fortunate, fortunate enough to have. You know, I, I know every character in the game of boxing. You know, I've been there for, for, for Don King Promotions, Frank Warren, Match Room, I've been over to the States, I've, I've, I've done it all in boxing. And um, I believe I have a wealth of knowledge that can guide a young talent to the very top of the division. And coupled with that, you know, my business partner, Richard Schaefer, I believe there, there's, no, there's nothing we will miss. You know, the one thing I was very adamant on is that the fighters we, we sign, um, have the capabilities not only to sell tickets or 
you know, be entertaining, but can win genuine world titles, you know, ideally in multiple weight divisions. And it's taken a while to get the fighters we, we believe are the right ones, but we, we have them now. And they're all very different. You know, you've got a 31 year old heavyweight down to a, a bantamweight, you know, it's, it's a 24 year old to a Scottish 18 year old. We're, we're all, or a mixed martial arts specialist. You know, we, we're really trying to cover all bases. And, but I truly believe each one of these fighters can get to the very top. And with, with my mind and Richard's guidance, all they need to do is just stay healthy, train hard. They have the capabilities. They have the best, uh, you know, experienced coach you know, on the planet. You know, Israel Salas. I've been working with him for a while now, and you know, in the in the short period of time we've been working together, I I, I feel like a, I feel like a new man. You know, I've just obviously come out of my rehabilitation phase, but I'm enjoying it. I, I'm I'm happy and seeing these young guys in the gym with me. They're training with me alongside me, and it's. Really, really nice to see, and we've got a fantastic journey. Dave, uh, UK TV, have, have got involved. They want, they want to be in boxing. You know, they, they want to be in sport. They've already um, threw, threw their hat in the ring in terms of uh, mixed martial arts. They've, uh, they've got Bama, which is a great mixed martial arts tournament, which they're showing on a regular basis. I actually going to do some commentary for them also. Now they're getting into the boxing, and they saw the numbers that um, I produced on Dave for my first two comeback fights. And they were they were record breaking, and we want to do something similar. We we want to aim at the you know, 16 to 35 year olds because you know boxing is in a fantastic place. It really is at the moment. You know you've got you know Sky and uh, Matchroom doing fantastic shows, but on great pay per view events. Um, you've got Cyclone on Channel Five did, did a fantastic show the other day with Josh Taylor and Ahara Davis. It's nice to see Matchroom and um, the Cyclone you know, working together to put a, put a show on for the fans. You know, it's, it's seldom has been a time where boxing promoters work together to give the fans what they want, and it was on a free-to-air platform. It's just a really, really good time with British boxing, and I just want to add to that. I really do. I believe we can. And with these fighters, I believe I've got the perfect opportunity to, uh, to do something great in boxing and to allow these guys to do what I've done. When I first turned professional, I remember um, saying I wanted to win as many titles as possible earn as much money as possible and get out of boxing with my faculties intact. That was the that was the three musts for me. And I've said it, I've I I said it and I'm trying to with my fighters to do the same thing. And they all they all truly believe me have the capabilities to do so. So you can watch them for free on Dave and enjoy their journey, enjoy their ride. Thanks very much. Thank you David. Um, Richard, since January I know a lot of us have been looking forward to what to see what this relationship will bring and here we are today. <coughs> Few words for yourself about it. Yes, thank you. Well, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank you for the media to show up today. I know it was a bit early, and I know it's a very busy week for you guys here in the UK. Lots of boxing going on. I think that's great news. So thank you very much. Great to see some of my old friends here um, from the big fights we promoted, and uh, I look forward. Really excited to be working with all of you again and follow the journey of these. Uh, uh, young fighters up here as they embark to become world champions and superstars of the sport. I'd like to uh, uh, acknowledge as well a superstar uh, who is in attendance here, uh, one of the most exciting world champions, uh, irrespective of weight class, <coughs> that's my good friend Jorge Kelly <laughs> and When uh, David and me, first of all, there was nobody else I would have rather done this venture, embark on this venture in the UK and with David. Hey, I've known David for many years. I was there, uh, co-promoted the event when he became heavyweight champion against uh, Valuev in Nuremberg. Um, so we had a long journey together. And he's truly one of the few people in the sport of boxing I know who does what he says. A man of his word, who is loyal. And so it's really a pleasure to have David as my partner here and embark on this journey together. We, from the very beginning, uh, set our standards very high as it relates to the quality of the fighters, of the athletes, which we want to work for. Yes, you heard right, work for, and not they working for us. So it's, I think that was always my, my motto in the United States as well. We really work for the fighters. We want to help them, to empower them, and become stars and make a lot of money in the process. Uh, I think with the group of fighters we have up here, we have really a little bit of everything 
fighters who can fight, who have a proven track record, but who are very charismatic as well. Now that's one thing, but what we needed is we needed a TV partner who could really expose these fighters to the masses. And I think uh, we, we were pursued by many different TV networks here in the UK. Uh, we had meetings with many TV networks, but we really felt uh, very comfortable with UK TV. I didn't know UK TV before, uh, but I have to say this is a group of people which really want to be in the sport of boxing. They want to tell the story of these young, young, young fighters, young men, and to be able to work with somebody who is really as excited about them as we are is very refreshing. And I think what is very important as well that these fighters are not just going to be exposed to boxing fans because boxing fans, sports fans, will find them. The key for me was to find a partner who is going to expose them to the general market. And the power of the general market, I think, was very well documented and the great job uh, the UK TV with the channel Dave did when David Hay fought his fight there and had these sensational numbers. His next fight David had on pay-per-view and you saw the results, the results were staggering. It was the highest, the highest non-title non pay-per-view event in the history of UK boxing. And I'm sure the exposure David Hay got on channel Dave and had something to do with that. So that's exactly what we want to do here. We want to have these young men exposed to the general market and make them household names. And whatever I can do, I'll be happy to do. I'll be happy to take them to the United States as well, build them up there as well. We have that platform available as well and help them to become global superstars. Thank you, Richard. Uh, I'd like to hand the floor over now to uh, Steve, Steve North, the general manager of UK TV. Thanks, Andy. Uh, morning, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. From, uh, from the channel's perspective, from the broadcast perspective, um, we've all said how exciting this is, but it generally is exciting. It's uh, such a huge opportunity. We've already mentioned that, that Dave was the home of, of David's comeback fights, um, and they were an enormous success for us last year. We went into that with our eyes wide open uh, and got involved. It was really, really for us, it was a, a huge partnership with David to kind of put those fights on. Uh, and the results spoke for themselves. Uh, our highest ever numbers, over 3 million people watching the fight on the channel. And I think what was really exciting was that we were taking boxing back to that free audience and we were giving large groups of people and big audiences the chance to watch these fantastic fighters. So for us, when we then started to keep talking with David and with Haymaker and Ringstar about this opportunity, um, for us it was too good to, to turn down. Um, being able to work as a channel with this incredible talent, uh, this incredible group of athletes, Olympians, world champions, European champions, Commonwealth champions. They are a staggering group of people uh, on stage here and I'm slightly in awe, slightly scared, uh, sat at the end of this table. Uh, but I think that's a good thing for, for the channel, it's a good thing for, for the project that we're going to go into. And we can bring a lot to this as well, I think, from the channel. As a, as a network, uh, we can reach over 40 million people every single month. And that's good for, for two reasons. That's good for us because that means that we can ensure that that young male audience that we are trying to attract, we're trying to appeal towards, has got in fantastic, brand new, original sporting content that they're going to be really excited about. But equally for me, I think it offers a platform to, to these guys, to these athletes, to uh, take their, their skills and their abilities uh, and their talents to a wide audience. And as, as Richard mentioned with, uh, with David's comeback, I think making sure that large groups of people, uh, which we can do through free-to-air TV, have a chance to see these is a really good thing for their career because it can build up their fan base and build up their success. And that's what we are, we're dedicated to doing. And we're really excited about following their journey. Um, and it is a journey, uh, and we're all going on that journey together. And it feels like it's uh, a really exciting time for boxing, a really exciting time for Dave, and hopefully a really exciting time for all the boxers on the stage. Thank you, Steve. Um, I'd now like to give the floor to uh, Stephen Bolt, who is the brand director of Betfair UK and Ireland. Uh, we now have the opportunity for a few questions to anyone from the floor has any. Any questions from the floor at all? Let me shut up. One down there, sir. Uh, do you know when the first show is going to be? You've got to sort of plan the events will be. Yeah, we're looking at the autumn. Um, we're looking for, at venues and dates of uh, days. Uh, Kind of scheduling the social over next week or so. Great. Any other questions from the floor? How did the crossover from Michael Benefit come across and how did he get to work with you, David? 
It's asking me or I I I'll, I'll start and finish. <laughs> yeah. um, I've I've known um, Alexis and Marius uh, at the London Shoot Fighting Blues where Michael's based um, for a number of years, and obviously I've, I've seen him in action many times. And the word and I've heard the tales of his sparring sessions with some very high-profile British current world champions. And I wanted to see this myself, so I've, I've been down to London Shoe Fighters and seen him, seen him sparring and thought to myself, if any of the, there's a lot of talk at the moment of uh, MMA fighters crossing over to boxing, and um, if there was ever someone to do the transition and do it correctly, it has to be someone with tremendous timing, natural ability, and, and, and dynamite in each fist, and uh, MVP definitely has that. Um, so we spoke. We spoke about it. He's he's as confident as as anybody. He can he can be anybody. And you just need to see this guy in the ring. He's a, he's a for me. He's a freak. I've never seen a fighter. I've never seen a fighter uh, of any any discipline be so uh, moldable and so well rounded. You know, to come from you know to world, champ, world champion kickboxing. He's now you know got the KO of the year last year. Of, uh, was, I was ringside, watched this fight against Cyborg, and I'm not exaggerating. You know, we, we've said uh, he caved his head in, literally, he jumped up and kneed the guy in the face. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. It was sickening to watch. But this is what this guy does, and that's with his legs and his hands are even more impressive, in my, in my opinion. But it's, um, you, you'll, be, you'll be very, very entertained in and around, but outside of what he does in the ring, just his personality and his. I would see you at MVP. <laughs> but I have to finish that, man. No. Um, <laughs> well, anybody in combat sports is going to be a fan of boxing. You know, boxing's been around a long time. There's some unbelievable champions out there. Um, so it's something I've always been interested in in terms of I watch it, you know, watch people uh, fight and enjoy it, enjoy following boxing. And um, my coach is always making me do, you know, specific rounds. When we do mixed martial arts, we have to be good at wrestling. We have to be good at jiu-jitsu. We have to be good at kickboxing. We have to be good at boxing. And you know, he, he strips it away. And sometimes I'm just doing boxing rounds. And he calls in the best people from all over to just do boxing rounds. And the same for wrestling. Same for jiu-jitsu. Same for everything else you need to know when you're doing MMA. Now you hit enough people in boxing, uh, it goes around. And as David says, you know, he had, he had some of the tells, he came down, he's a good friend of the coaches, came down and watched. And what's impressive was probably about four years ago, and we've kind of always been on and off talking about doing boxing for a while. And obviously I've had so many things to focus on in the MMA world, it just wasn't the right time. I've still, I still got a lot to achieve and I still want to achieve a lot in MMA, but this was just timed perfectly you know, along with uh, Richard Schaefer as well. Their partnership, it just everything just kind of fell into place. So it was just the right time to, to step over, and I'm, I'm excited to kind of put on the show over here. What I want to do, I want to thank uh, very much uh, Scott Cocker from Bellator as well to allow uh, one of their athletes to sign a promotional deal with a boxing promotion entity. I think that's unheard of. It's a first. I don't know any other mixed martial arts organization, frankly, which would do that. I think uh, a big thank you to, uh, to Bellator as well. Mm -hmm. Any further questions from the floor? And David, what's the, what's the situation with your injury and your mm -hmm. combat plans and like, targeting and failures? My, at the moment, I've just been focused on rehabilitation with uh, myself and Ishmael Salas and working behind closed doors. Um, at the moment, if you used to watch one of my sessions, you'd be completely unaware that I had an injury. You just yesterday, everybody watched my session, and it was like, "So your legs are okay now?" Then I'm like, "Yeah, it's okay. You know, I it, it feels fine. I've, I've got no pain whatsoever. I'm, my right hand's coming over great. So um, I'm I'm just literally focusing on on polishing up my game um, with with Vishal Salas and um, looking at fighting, as I said from the start in, in December. Who that would be against is, is unknown yet. There's no mad rush for me to announce anything, but you know, I will be back in the ring um, in a fight that the fans want to see uh, in December. Any further questions? Yeah. Stephen, it's just interesting to know how you're going to schedule and promote the whole thing. 
Well, with the uh, with, with David's uh, bikes as well, you know, we, we get behind, we support our shows. It's something that we, we always do at UKTV. We try to make sure that we are taking this to as many people as possible. And, and that's where, as a network, we have great capability to talk to a lot of people through both our channels and also our social streams and our marketing. So we haven't kind of finalised any plans for that yet, but uh, our, our, our intent would be to create the, the biggest show, the biggest event we possibly can do, to make it as exciting to viewers and to make it as appealing to viewers as possible. And, uh, I don't see any reason why I can't do that. Any more questions? Great, okay, now I think there'll be some, uh, some photo opportunities up here and then there's gonna be some round here.